G'day, it's Lano again. I've said that a lot over the last year or so, but luckily I've got some people helping to distribute the load with me. That just sounds wrong, doesn't it? Helping me out with the kitchen sink this year is probably much better. I may or may not edit that out. Let's be honest, I won't edit that out. Anyway, um, to all of our fans in Norfolk Island, I would like to say happy Norfolk Island Agricultural Show to you. It's happening this week, so congratulations. And I hope you've had a cracker. Maybe you got to drive on a tractor or pined after some beers or decided not to keep going with that metaphor. So I'm going to be doing rounds, rounds? I'm going to be doing <laughs> divisions six, seven, five, and four, which just to mix it up a little bit, same numbers, different order. So tune on in, get your beer or other beverage ready to go, and let's go through the results and find out who the real cricketers on the Sunshine Coast are in those grades. One second. Sorry, it took a bit longer than a second. In my time, for you, it was barely a moment. Let's start with division number seven and see what happened there. First up, Nambour were highly, highly taxed and just made it through their game with full points. They were playing against the uh, Bergamindi Yeti uh, Expedition, who uh, found themselves out of their depth. Palmwoods were defeated by USC. USC, 5 for 87, chased down Palmwoods' 85 runs. Uh, for USC, I don't have any batting in there, so maybe get your results in. I think Max has mentioned that already. Palmwoods with the bat. Cliffy Cordwell, 34 not out. M. Williams bowling for USC. Maybe your results did go in and maybe there just wasn't anyone over 25. M. Williams, two for seven. J. Law, two for nine. C. Agapower, two for 20. And P. M. Pendya, two for 20. A good spread around of all the wickets. Uh, bowling for Palmwoods. Cliffy Cordwell with the wickets, two for 17. A.M. Alif, two for 31. Next game. Kabulchar were defeated by Waymere and Stanley River. They've had a cracking start to the season. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, Waymere and Stanley River, four for 114. Uh, Kabulchar, 113. Obviously, Waymere and Stanley River chase that down. Uh, batting for Kabulchar, Jay Walkerton, 35 runs. And Waymere and Stanley River, uh, I've got no batting in there for you. Bowling for Kabulchar, P. Lawson, three for 20. Next game. Karoya Mundi defeated Landsborough. Wait till you hear this score. Karoya Mundi, four for 350. Yeah, it was a limited overs game, 40 overs. You can work out that run rate, pretty impressive. Uh, Landsborough, seven for 169. So, uh, yeah, bonus points, I'm thinking. Karoya Mundi with the bat, D Christensen, 181. Congratulations. That is a whole lot of runs. It's a season total for some. M. Neal, 49. B. Christensen, 34. And R. Plant, 26. Not out. That is a whole lot of runs. I'm not going to lie to you. Lansborough, with the bat, S. A. Broomfield, 53. G. King, 29. Bowling for Karoya Mundi. D. S. Evans, 2 for 11. And A. Beveridge, 2 for 18. Wow, that's a lot of runs. I'm going to need to take a moment before we go up to division number six. Division six. I'm ready. I'm ready for this. Division six, Coolum seven for 280. <laughs> You're winning every game when you are scoring that, aren't you? Would Defeated by Caloundra. Six for 283. You are kidding me. Coolum, did, did you park on a black cat under a ladder or something over the weekend as a club? You poor buggers. Uh, Caloundra with the bat. G. Provost, 122. L. Johnson, 79. Bowling for Coolum. F. Henderson, two for 48. D. R. Head, two for 58. Coolum with the bat, R. Cowling 57, 
H. Vivers, 49, nearly close. W. Day, 46. M. Balestra, 44. F. Henderson, 27. Sounds like everyone had a bit of uh, bit of runs there. Maybe that, exp never mind. And bowling for Caloundra, T. Bock, 2 for 43. L. Hill, 2 for 43. Twins. Next game, Lansborough defeated Tawantan Noosa. Lansborough, 166. Tawantan Noosa, 141. Who got what, where, when? D. Lyons bowling for Tawantan Noosa, 4 for 31. Close. And G. F. Chaplin Chappie, 3 for 34. And Tawantan Noosa with the bat, uh, J. Talbot, 32. That's all I got there. That was played at Lensborough. Next up, we got Yandina, 7 for 205. Defeated Waymuran, Stanley Rivers, 6 for 197. That's close. Very close out at Yandina. I uh, don't have any results in there, I'm sorry. Um, make it up for yourself. Just lean to whoever's next to you and tell them I was in that game. Tunned up. And the final game, USC were defeated by Palmwoods. Palmwoods, 8 for 196. USC, 103. Palmwoods with a bat. KG Briggs. Apparently he's quite the KG batsman. 57. B King, 26 not out. Good for your average. B Hankel, 25. Bowling for USC. N Marchetti, 2 for 41. P Ascot, 2 for 41. There's a lot of twin bowling going on here. And USC with a bat. R Marchetti, 29. B Hankel, bowling for Palmwoods, 3 for 16. L Guest, 2 for 8. M Robinson, 2 for 20. That's Division 6. It's now time. Get out the parades, the billboards, and the marching peoples. It's Division number 5, people. Five. Five. All right. First game, Karoya Mundi were defeated by Kabulcha. Kabulcha, 9 for 158 off all their overs. And Karoya Mundi, 104. With the bat for Kabulcha. We got uh, Jay Donahue. That'd be Jeremy Donahue. Uh, 55. Congratulations, that's almost a good score. Nearly. We'll get back to that. Uh, bowling for Karoya Mundi, J.E. Hope, 5 for 11. That is some good bowling figures. And P. Clark, 2 for 37. Bowling for Kabulcha, L. Tuzar, 4 for 15. Seems like twice as many wickets as you should get with a name like Tuzar. T. Stimson, 2 for 15. M. Smith, 2 for 17. And Phil Warby, Two for 23. Lots of choo choo choos. It's almost a training drill on that one. Next game, Glasshouse. Not that M. Smith. <laughs> Back you go in your box. Glasshouse, 180. We're defeated by USC 9 for 182. I'm guessing they uh, either bowled them out with two to go or just hit the runs at the end. That was played at Glasshouse. Batting for, oh, I don't have any batting for USC, so batting for Glasshouse. J.R. Lillycrap, 38. B. Hill, 32. A. Cronk, 32. And bowling for Glasshouse. Levy, the man, the myth, the legend. LCPS, 4 for 32. Couldn't get a fifth wicket with everyone going, that guy's rubbish, he just bowls pies, smash him. Oh, I got out again. M.L. Flighter, the crazy man, 2 for 23, and J.D. Merritt, 2 for 31. Next game was Burpengary against Nambour. Burpengary, 6 for 215, Nambour, 163. Batting for Burpengary isn't in there. Unfortunately, I'm surprised. Mr. Lefborg didn't uh, get his score in there. He, he got about 80-odd and then got tired. Uh, batting for, well, bowling for Nambour. Lockie Braun, 3 for 54. Well done. And batting for Nambour, G. M. Lanham, 56, which is a real score, not like 55. 56. And M. Donaldson, 43 off three and a half weeks. Next game, is that a buff? Hmm. Palmwoods were defeated by Maruchidor. Palmwoods is 185, Maruchidor 200. Uh, this will come as a shock to you. Um, runs for Maruchidor. C. Blunt, only been doing that for 10 years. 44. Al Hodges, 40. I. Carnell, 27. Bowling for Palmwoods. M. Cooper, 3 for 20. L. Scott, 3 for 30. Keeping that nice and round. Palmwoods, got nothing for you with the bat. Bowling for Maruchidor. A. Bailey, 3 for 54. T. Belt, 2 for 22. That's our first Richie for the year. 
and D Brewer, two for 27. Jay Hone, two for 33. That is division five, and we're gonna go up the ladder to division number four. <sighs> Made it. Division four. Let's start with Maruchidor. Defeated by Palmwoods. If you're from Maruchidor, that doesn't sound very good. The bitterest of enemies. Palmwoods, eight for 192 off all their overs. Maruchidor, 87. And uh, got no runs entered in there for you. Maybe we didn't break the 25. On that, Palmwoods, uh, this will become a surprise to everyone. Uh, the runs were Juzzy Smith, 47. Close. Uh, Lee Perrin, 30. Liam Robson, 28, who uh, refused to wear the helmet cam. Wear the helmet cam. Do it, Liam. Wear the helmet cam. Yeah. But he got 28. I mean, that, that would be at least 28 runs that aren't coming from your team on Helmet Vision this week. And bowling for Maruchidor, Ah McGuinness, three for 12. Yeah, that's all right. And then bowling for Palmwoods, Lammy, four for 22. Good to see you finally playing uh, up in a grade where you should be, mate. Uh, Scotty Coleman, three for 22. I bet they were three angry wickets. And Jesse Robson, the most stylish man in cricket with, he kind of, he's working on the microphone look. He looks like the biggest microphone in the world. Jay Robson, two for seven. Well done, well bowled. Uh, that was played uh, at Mauritius. Next game, Caloundra defeated Coulomb. Caloundra, six for 184. Coulomb, five for 180. Off all of their overs. Bowling for Caloundra, TT Garland, two for 15. And batting for Caloundra, BB Ruck, 59 not out, well done. And A Land, 37 not out. Wayne Moran Stanley Rivers, Get this, Drew with the Andina. I don't mean Drew, Drew as in it was a washout. I mean, 40 overs each side, both ended up on eight for 184. I can't guarantee that there weren't phone calls from a Pakistani bookmaker during that game. Haven't checked the no balls, but wow, that's the first draw for the season. So uh, Wayne and Stanley River, as I said, eight for 184. T Cooper, 41 runs. A. Phillips, 33, bowling for Yandina. J. A. Ritchie, looks like he's put himself back together enough to bowl again. Three for 22, D. W. Oaks, two for 39. Yandina with a bat, J. A. Ritchie, 42, hmm. do it all. D. W. Oaks, sure I just said those two names. 40, you guys are gonna get called up to Marigidor soon with that kind of behavior. D. Hepworth, 33, bowling for Wamiran, Stanley River, J. Burton, 2 for 15, J. Brand, 2 for 26, and A. Phillips, 2 for 29. Final game, Tawantan Noosa, defeated by Glasshouse. Glasshouse, 2 for 148, Tawantan Noosa, 5 for 145, so got chased down. With the bat for Glasshouse, D. Walters, surely not. You'd have to call him Dougie, wouldn't you? 46 not out, ran out of... Time by the look of things. Jay Diggles, 45. R. Sharma, 28. And bowling for Glasshouse. S.N. Martin, 2 for 18. And uh, C.J. Schofield, 2 for 25. Yeah, what are you doing in fourth grade? Hmm. Anyway, that is uh, the end of round four. And uh, if I think of anything else to tell you, I'll be back in one second. Round four? I did think of something else. You know how when you're sitting around on the weekend and you're wondering, how's this team doing? How's that grade doing? What's happening there? If only there was a Facebook page that had access for anybody who plays cricket on the Sunshine Coast to go there and put the results in. Just, you know, how you do with your club. Just let you know, blah, 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 blah. Put it on this page and then everyone will know and you can update it, add it. It can get the chat going. It's called Sunshine Coast Cricket Community. No, it's not. It's called Cricket Community Sunshine Coast. Cricket Community Sunshine Coast is the name of the page that you'll be looking for. Group. It's a group of people, so it's probably a group. We'll put that together some way to make a sentence or we'll just leave it exactly how it was because that's how I roll. Anyway, there will be a link in the video description as well. Um, I'm probably gonna hand over to Jackie wherever she is 
uh, she's broadcasting from a cave or somewhere. Um, hopefully we're gonna get something in. We're gonna hook up the satellite to the roof uh, to get her, her stuff in. So it's over to you, Jackie. Don't forget to like, subscribe, do all those things. Max probably told you earlier, but you're probably watching me because I'm your favorite. So make sure you like this video. I need more likes than Max because if I win, there'll be something. Lano out.